Okay, we're going to discuss chemistry in an overview for, you know, format just to give you a feel for how it impacts biology. You know, at, at the beginning of time, we had physics. After a while, you know, when certain components came together, you got chemistry, then chemistry brought forth biology. So it's important to really hit chemistry as we talk about, even before we talk about, about biology and, and, and functions. So chemistry is the study of atoms. It's study of atoms and their interactions. And atoms, of course, make up matter. You know, matter is everything we are aware of, okay? Anything is matter. Of course, there's, there's some, something else called antimatter, but, anti but we won't talk about that at this point. Is matter, anything that we are aware of in the universe, in our lives, is matter. And matter, you know, has mass. And the mass of anything really refers to the amount of energy contained in that object, in that matter. Okay, so mass is really, is really energy. You know, based on that uh, equation, the famous equation E equals mass times the speed of light squared. So energy is basically mass, okay? Because the C, this part is, is a constant. And then we have all matter that we are aware of in our universe, okay? So the, 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 the fundamental components of matter are electrons and things called quarks. These are fundamental in that nothing smaller, nothing is smaller than, than these things. That these are not made made, made of, of anything else. Okay, so these are your fundamental um, particles. Okay. And of course, you are probably more familiar with things like protons and neutrons, these things are made up of quarks. Okay, so quarks make up these two things, up quarks and down quarks. All right, so at the beginning of time, at the Big Bang, you had electrons and quarks. Quarks very quickly form protons and neutrons. And then these protons and neutrons form nuclei. Within about three minutes after the Big Bang, you had formed all of your hydrogen and helium nuclei at this point, okay? So then, keep going here. So then, elect so, so keep going in terms of particles. So atoms are next. Atoms are formed from the combination of electrons, um, protons, and neutrons, okay? Of course, these two things are found in the nucleus or the nuclei of the atom. And these are, these are, these orbit, or what's called, or in orbitals around the nuclei. So you form these, these will, these will form again, again uh, pretty quickly, you know, after the Big Bang. But the, the atoms were formed about, about probably 380,000 years after the Big Bang. That's when you formed your first atoms, okay? So quite long, but not very long in terms of real time. Okay, keep going here. So we've covered the atom, the matter, the, the things that make up matter. Electrons and quarks, and then quarks combine to form your protons and neutrons. 
then your protons and neutrons form your nuclei, then your nuclei and the electrons form your atoms. And now we have chemistry. Once we get to this level of combination, now chemistry starts here. Before, these smaller things yet are more, is more physics. In fact, no, it's already physics, but officially, this is more physics here. Once you get to this, this, to this level of atoms, now we can, we can get into, into the chemistry, the chemistry part of, of, of all of this. So, atoms are representations of particular pieces of matter called elements. Okay. So, so let's go there next, elements. Right, so, so far we had, there's a recap, we had electrons and quarks, quarks form protons and neutrons, protons and neutrons form nuclei, and the nuclei plus electrons form atoms, and the atoms really are the elements that, 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 that make, make, make up the universe. So, so elements are unique pieces of matter. Meaning an element of carbon is different from an element of hydrogen. Okay, so these are unique pieces of matter. And of course the atom represents the smallest unique piece of an element. Once you get smaller than an atom, then you lose uniqueness, okay? For example, all protons behave alike. No matter what, if they're from carbon or oxygen, it's still they behave the same way. Same for all neutrons. So, so, so now they're no longer unique. They're still pieces, but no longer unique pieces. At, at, at the atomic level, you have uniqueness there. There are... A hundred and 18 elements so far, okay, arranged in a periodic table. Of course, we, you know, elements are what, we number them, number them as we discover them. And we'll probably find a lot more eventually. So, but, but so far, it's all, it's all we've managed to find. And of these 118 elements, 94 of them are natural, meaning we have actually found these in nature maybe in stars, but we found, we, we, we located them. The others are made artificially in things called particle accelerators. Okay, so the remaining are artificially made. And these things, things like Californium or Einsteinium, those elements typically you know, of a very short half-life. As soon as they're formed in the particle accelerator, they, they decay very quickly, so. But, 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 what, what, but if, you, if you can measure them, then they're real. So we, we count them among the, the fundamental pieces of, 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 of um, our universe. So on the elements, we, have, we also have what's called radioactive elements. These are elements that decay. These are unstable. And usually they're big. In fact, most elements, most elements which are from 80, number 84 and above, things like uranium, plutonium, are unstable and they decay by emitting protons and neutrons, releasing them from, from a nucleus, okay? And which, which in turn you know, creates high energy particles which, which can, can penetrate your skin to damage things. So these are, so, so anything above 84 on the, on, the, on the periodic table are called unstable and radioactive elements. And when they, they decay, they, they decay to the point where they form something more stable. You know, the, the bigger the number is, which means, it means you have a lot more protons and neutrons in the nucleus. And it's hard to hold them together, the bigger it gets. And that's why the bigger you get, the more unstable the nucleus is. And so it starts to spit things out to get to a more stable con configuration. Okay. 
of the elements we have, so we have 118 elements, your primordial elements, meaning the first element formed is hydrogen. Okay, that's the first one that has formed within what? Three minutes of the Big Bang. And all other elements come from this element. Okay? So it combines to form helium, then lithium, beryllium, all other elements are formed by combinations of hydrogens, which is say with helium, for example, or you know, your carbon is probably helium, helium, and two carbons, and two, two H's there to, 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 to form six photons there. And still, these two elements constitu constitute around 99% of all elements in the universe. So these, these are the first two to be made. These, these were made at, basically at, at the Big Bang. And they have been used to seed the entire universe just from that early, early moment. Everything else still accounts for less than 2% of all elements in the universe. Just these two are the, the, the dominant ones. We're formed first. All other elements, of course, are formed from stars. You know, when stars burn and you know, what's called fusion, you know, the high energy of, of, star, of star, star centers can, can confuse things together to form bigger elements. And then once you get, get, about, get about iron, when stars explode, you form the other, the other elements beyond iron. So, that's all start stardust stories there. Okay. And elements do not decay, do not do not go away. Elements are immortal things, all right? And they are constantly recycled. You, me, we're all made up of, of recycled elements. I have things in me that were probably once in dinosaurs. Once in many dead, dead people way, way, way ahead of me, or in dead microbes, whatever it is, it's the same building blocks being passed around throughout Earth's system, throughout the solar system, throughout the galaxies. It's the same building blocks, okay? So it's, 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 the, 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 do not decay, do not go away, and they recycle. Tell the story here. So of the elements that they have, so there, there are 118 elements. Six of them. So you have six major elements, meaning of the 118 elements that we know of, six of them account for about 98% of our body mass. Okay. So nine, I think 98. 5% of our body weight is due to the presence of six of these elements. And they are so yeah, O, C, H, N, calcium, phosphorus. All right. Okay, oxygen, the most common one is around 65%. 18% here, 10%, 3%, 1.5%, number 1%. Those are the, so this is the, the proportion of, 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 of the elements in our body mass, okay? We're mostly oxygen followed by carbon. Let's keep going. All right, so let's pause here. 